Uh, welcome to this model number 4 uh, that is composite materials. In that uh, chapter with lecture video we are going to discuss about uh, polymer metals composite or we call it as PMCs and uh, these are all uh, there are two types of uh, uh, production of fiber arrangement plastics are there or simply we call as PMCs. Uh, these fiber reinforced uh, plastics or what we call PMCs are manufactured uh, by several methods. Uh, Okay, so let us uh, discuss uh, one by one. Uh, uh, there are uh, open type and close type of uh, uh, process will be there uh, for reinforcement plastic. Uh, the first one is in case of open type, uh, there is a hand layer process, spray apply process, uh, bag molding that is the pressure and vacuum type of uh, molding and autoclave process and filament winding process. These are all comes under uh, open uh, mold process whereas uh, we come to the closed mold process there are uh, uh, again there are different category there is a uh, pultrusion process compression molding injection molding and sheet molding compounds resin transfer molding thermoforming uh, blow molding and pull forming so these are all comes under closed mold uh, process so among all these uh, we will discuss one by one uh, in detail about the process uh, that is a uh, uh, open mode process like a hand layup uh, process. First one, the hand layup uh, process. Okay, so for this uh, hand layup process, uh, the production of a hand layup process, it is one of the, as you see in the figure, uh, there are consists of uh, uh, voltage method and fabricating the fiber reinforced uh, material. And also uh, this produces the mold uh, having a shape of uh, desired part here, uh, whatever the mold uh, is prepared, accordingly the part will be get uh, ready and uh, the initial it is made up of uh, wood or wax or clay or sometimes plastics but uh, a gel is a uh, gel coat is applied to this open mold and so that uh, the finished compound can be easily stripped from this uh, mold without uh, adhering uh, to it okay and also it is usually uh, as i told uh, uh, used to produce a polyester or epoxy resins uh, parts such as uh, boat hulls and tanks and even vessels and uh, pickup trucks ca uh, canopies okay and this method is also quite uh, simple and uh, this resin and reinforcement is placed against the surface on the open side that is one side and then it is going to be allowed to uh, cure and in the case of uh, spray up uh, resin reinforcement okay and it is sprayed on this mold with a spray gun okay later it is going to be gel is going to be coated and applied and to mold the prior uh, to produce better surface uh, quality and to protect the composite uh, from the elements and a gel is coated uh, resin usually 0.4 to 0.7 mm thick and commonly seen in outer surface of the smaller boards so i will show that uh, sample uh, how they are uh, uh, hand layup process is going to be taken and also we call it as uh, sometime uh, wet layup process okay and this is the advantages of this process is includes a low inertial uh, uh, initial uh, start uh, start up the cost and, uh, and also easily to change the mold or design on one side production uh, if possible okay and uh, what is the disadvantage is uh, the labor intensive and uh, operator cost is uh, dependent and also it is a longer queue time and it requires uh, day for uh, to the final cured products and also having a more material of waste uh, there is one of the uh, disadvantage and apply welcome to this applications uh, this process is used for the uh, as i told that is uh, tanks buildings panels or even for the architecture buildings also they are used this kind of uh, process so next one is uh, another method is uh, what uh, so next process is spray up molding. Uh, this spray up molding is a much lesser labor intensive than the hand up uh, uh, hand layup method by utilizing the spray gun and, and uh, fiber uh, cutter. Okay, however, this only the fiber is going to be reinforced composite. It can be made and it is continuous uh, fiber is fed into this uh, cutter. And the chopped uh, the chopped fiber is going to be uh, spread upon this mold with a stream of resin. Uh, mist and catalyst delivered through these uh, separate nozzles okay the sprayed mixture of fiber is uh, going to be resin uh, soon cures and it also mold at room temperature and it product uh, is going to be produced and because of this spraying operation only the large and complex shape object uh, can be easily made okay 
So next one, uh, uh, I will show this the sample of this how they are going to uh, spray molding is going to be taken place. These are the one of the picture uh, which I taken from the net. Uh, there is a fiber are chopped and coated with resin and spread on in the mold. So the uh, she is uh, uh, the person is going to uh, spread over this uh, uh, over a uh, material. Uh, the fiber are going to be chopped and coated with this. Uh, some resin and sprayed on this mold and with the help of compressor air they are using this spraying uh, process okay so next one is uh, we'll, uh, going to discuss uh, how this process is going to be taken uh, uh, we can see in the uh, next uh, coming uh, slides so that is the advantage of this uh, process is a continuous process and it also a uh, simple in operation and a quick depositing of fiber and reinforcement of the surface and error cannot uh, can be detected corrected by uh, respraying okay if anything is gap or some any error will be there that can be recorrected by uh, respraying and also the materials can also be used for as a mold and main disadvantage is the uh, the process takes uh, slow and uh, inconsistency <laughs> and also no control fiber orientation at all and only uh, one side of finished is uh, get it uh, that is the uh, one uh, drawback and uh, uh, because of uh, it is also un, uh, the environmental unfriendly because as it is uh, there are so many chemical uh, they are uh, exposed to the outside atmosphere and it is uh, en uh, environmentally unfriendly and one more is uh, the low because of low viscosity resins uh, need to be employed and uh, generally a compromise of their favorable properties and also this is short uh, fiber are incorporated and uh, this limits the mechanical properties of the composites. So these are all about the uh, advantages and disadvantages of this uh, process. And we'll come to these applications as I discussed, uh, used in manufacture of a lightly loaded structural panels like uh, uh, carbon bodies and truck fairings and uh, shower trays, uh, bathtubs and etc. They are going to use for this uh, process. Okay, so next, uh, we'll come to this uh, next video. Uh, I'll show this uh, some of the uh, uh, process uh, uh, through video so that you can understand better way. Okay. Spray up technique is a partly mechanized version of the hair up process. Spray up is an open mold fabrication process where resin and chopped reinforcements are sprayed onto a reusable mold using a chopper gun. Okay, so uh, the next uh, um, equipment we're going to move on to is the uh, resin depositor, uh, and this has a, a chopper head on it. So uh, once again, it's a high pressure style delivery gun, and it's the difference between that and the gel powder is it is a uh, slightly lower ratio for pump pressure. We don't need higher pressure with this because unlike a airless system, this is an internal mix gun. Okay, so this means that the resin and the initiator is mixed inside the head. So this requires a solvent flush system. See over here, that's the that's the, cattle, the acetone, sorry, that's the solvent, and that flushes the head. So this requires the solvent tank. This is air over cattle. So unlike a slave pump where it, it, it relies on hydraulic pressure, this works independently from the resin pump. So what we're doing is we're converting air pressure, and we're pressurizing, pressurizing the tank. So this works independently of the pump. That's what's known as an air over catalyst system. Lower pressure, internal mix, mix of the head. And up here we have a, a cutter. This is the chopper part of the gun. What this is, this is an air motor that will drive uh, a spindle which uh, contains a, a blade holder and we have some consumables in this, um, this head here. We have blades around the holder, we have rubber for a cop. Also we have some adjustments on it. We can adjust the tension of the rubber, we can adjust, we can uh, have the, uh, any amount of blades that we require for strand length. We can make adjustments for motor speed. So we can adjust the speed of the motor. And we can, with this uh, adjustment here, we can 
just to introduce air and fan out and we get the white adjustment to go into the, the fan of resin. What feeds into this cutter head is what's known as continuous roving. Uh, unlike chop strand map where we can weigh it uh, per square metre, it's pretty well impossible to do with this system. So what we, what we do, we measure it by what's known as tanks. And the tax of this particular roving is 2,400. That means it's um, 2,400 grams per 1,000 metres. So if we were to take this out for a kilometre, bundle it up and weigh it, it would weigh 2.4 kilos. Now, being an internal mix, we, we need, a, as I said, we need a, a solvent flush. This pit here, this is an atomizer. Okay, so unlike the airless systems we're using a gel coater, they're not relying on, on air to, to atomize, to, to, to create a, a spray pattern. By reducing the amount of air, we can reduce emissions. So um, it's part of the training for gun operators to learn how to uh, control emissions. The spray up process is a method in which resin is sprayed onto the mold at the same time as the chopped rovings. The spray gun is moved in a predetermined pattern to create uniform thickness of laminate. Considerable skill is required to control this. The air pressure in the lines to the spray head and chopper are preset within certain limits to regulate the ratio of glass to resin that has to be simultaneously deposited. Additional layers of chopped rovings, woven roving or mat and resin may be added to build up the right component thickness. Sprayed fiber and resin material is compacted using to consolidate the mixture and to create an even and smooth laminate surface. This also ensures that the laminate properly adheres with the gel coat surface and removes any air in the resin matrix. The whole laminate is allowed to cure at room temperature, after which the part is then demolded and sent for finishing work.